right, so welcome to Lord's Park. So I just kind of switched things up a little bit, a little different on this video. I just kind of started this video off with a couple random clips of me throwing a disc off of a few of the start pads. Hit a tree branch there, so that kind of sucked, but <laughs> it was flying nice. Landed this one pretty nice on hole eight. Uh, it's just a fun little course. I really enjoyed throwing this course. Uh, I really enjoyed it as far as the city park goes. And the layout, in my opinion, is really, really kind of nice for a lot of different reasons. So here we are starting the layout of the Lawrence Park in uh, Kalispell, Montana. So the first nine holes are kind of on the front end of the park and then you hike way back to get to the back nine, which you'll see here later on in the video. But the front nine holes are really kind of nice and open. I mean, hole four's got some trees you kind of battle with. Hole seven's got a couple of little things that you're battling with there. And then of course, like you saw in so hole eight, you got some trees and stuff there. But for the most part, the front nine is really open, which gives you a chance to just kind of get everything all warmed up, get everything all loosened up. Um, and just kind of get all the kinks worked out. I mean, we've all been there. Usually your game really starts pr uh, producing pretty good results about hole four or five, right? <laughs> Now as far as change of elevation goes, you really don't deal with that at all on Lawrence Park. After we finish up on hole five, about the only change of elevation you're gonna deal with is the little hike up to the top of that tiny little hill. And you throw off the top of that going down to hole six. Um, other than that, there's really no other changes of elevation. So if you have problems walking around in like the steep inclines, like in the mountain courses and stuff like that, then this is gonna definitely be one of the courses you wanna to add to your list to go throw because it is, for the most part, really easy walking. Now that being said, there is quite a bit of walking, which you're gonna see here a little bit later after we get through hole seven, is there's a couple, so from hole seven to hole eight, you're gonna have kind of a long walk. The start pad for hole eight is not right next to start pad seven, or hole seven, I should say. And after we finish up with the front nine, there is kind of a long walk to get to hole 10. So it's kind of hidden. If you don't know that it's there, that's why I wanted to shoot this video so you knew exactly what to expect before you actually head out there. And that way you know the whole layout of the entire course. When I first threw this course, oh geez, I'd say about five years or so ago. Here's hole seven like I was talking about. You gotta throw over that cattails, that little area down there. Now this time of the year when I shot it in August, that's nice and dry. So if you fall short, it's not too big of a deal. But in the early spring, that's gonna be very, very wet and very, very muddy. So you definitely don't wanna fall short during that time of the year or you're gonna be in a big muddy mess. <laughs> anyway, here's uh, the long walk from basket seven to hole eight, like I was saying earlier. And to continue what I was just talking about when I first threw this about, I don't know, four or five years ago, I didn't even know there was a back nine that existed, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So I always thought this was a nine hole course until about two years ago. So I thought, okay, I definitely wanna put this out there so that everybody's aware that yes, there is also a back nine if you wanna take advantage of throwing the full 18. If you don't have time and you just wanna do kind of a quick little nine hole course, you can either do the front nine or you can do the back nine. So it's set up really nice for that aspect of things, which I thought was really kind of cool. So whatever works for you works, you know, do what you're gonna do, it is what it is. So at any rate, um, before we jump into the back nine, as we finish up the front nine here, I just want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers here at Disc Golf Course Tours. I really appreciate you guys' support. If you're not a subscriber to our channel, please hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, subscribe to our channel. That really does mean a lot to us here and we definitely appreciate that support. So if you've done that, we, like, like I said, I thank you. If you haven't, feel free to smash that like button. We sure appreciate it. So here's that long walk that I was telling you about. I mean. We're going pretty fast, I really speeded it up. It's not as long as you think though, but it's a nice little walk right along the river there or the creek or whatever it is. And then we come right into uh, hole 10 here. So as you see in hole 10, this whole back nine part of the course, you're gonna have a little bit more trees. They're gonna be a little bit shorter holes, but you can definitely have some more challenges and some more trees. There's a couple open holes as well, but I thought this hole was really neat. It's over here on the right hand side, kind of buried or surrounded by these trees. It's very well guarded. So you really want to work on getting a good approach for uh, your short game on that one for sure. This one is definitely a little bit more of an open hole. You don't have nearly as much in the way. Like I say, throughout this whole back nine, you're going to kind of see most of those holes are pretty much about the same like this, where they just a little bit open, a lot of trees in the way, but beautiful, beautiful area, beautiful course. Again, the elevation is pretty, pretty flat for the most part throughout this whole entire course. 
So if you have a hard time getting around, if you're, you know, got a bum knee or something, then this is a great, great course for you to actually throw and be able to still get around very easily. So I don't know what you guys think, but this is definitely, like I say, one of my favorite as far as uh, city park goes, because you got the nice open areas on the front, you got all these treed areas and a lot more challenging on the back nine. Tell me what your thoughts are about this course in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. So huge shout out to everyone up there in Kalispell who's worked hard on putting all this together. Um, I know I appreciate all the work that you guys have done and you've developed a beautiful course up here and I sure enjoyed playing it. So with that note, I'm going to kick back and let you guys just finish out this video and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.